This video was filmed in HD, so if you want to get the best viewing experience, put it on full screen and set your video resolution to at least 720p. The aircraft I'm flying is called a Skywalker. It's got a 1900 millimeter wing, and the ground station that I'm using is an Eagle, Eagle Tree uh, Eagle Eyes FPV station. It's got a helical antenna on it and this is going to be a range test. Basically what I want to do is I when I first flew with the Dragon Link I got out five kilometers and then the, like a, a, little, a couple times later I got out six kilometers and so right now today I'm shooting for seven kilometers. We're going to be heading west from West Albany and our objective is just to get maximum range. See how far we can go with the antenna set up. So we took off from West Albany, and our destination is far beyond that fog bank out there. This is uh, looking uh, left over my left wingtip, and uh, of course looking right, you see a big power station down there below. And below us, in front of us, is the Kalapuya River, stretching off into the towards the west before it breaks north. And again, our destination is uh, way out there past Highway 20. Highway 20 runs between Albany and Carvallis and what we end up hitting is we end up hitting Highway 20 right where uh, Garland uh, Nursery is at and that's about seven kilometers away before I finally turned around. It's about 7.50 in the morning. Great day to fly. The winds are calm. Maybe five mile an hour wind. The wind is coming from the west so I'm flying into the wind which is what you want to be doing when you're doing a distance flight. You never want to fly with the wind when you're heading away. If you look towards the middle of the screen, you can see some geese. There's a flock of geese. They're heading south. Once again, if you can't see them, you probably should put your settings to HD video mode and full screen. That way you can see the clarity. It's actually a really beautiful morning. The sun's at our back. Right now we're coming up over uh, the Bryant Drive area. You can see a small white van at the bottom of the road there in the bottom right corner leaving a friend of mine's house. That van delivers bottled water every morning and it's going to head south and then it's going to turn right there to the west and it's going to head south again. I called my friend up the next day and I said, hey, I said I saw some suspicious white van leaving your house the other day, just before 8, what the heck was that? And he's like, oh, it's just a bottled water truck comes every morning. So right now I'm circling around, I'm doing a 360, and what, the reason why I do that is because when I'm doing a distance range check, I do a circle about every kilometer, and I do that to check my antenna, check my video signal, check my uh, radio signal to make sure all my signals are good. Okay, up front center now you can see my live video feed. We're coming up on 2,000 meters, which is two kilometers right there. We just passed it. Another essential tool if you're doing any kind of long distance flight or any kind of FPV flight is having a, a VHF airband transceiver so you can monitor full size traffic in your area. A lot of my videos, if you guys are my subscribers, uh, the vast majority of my videos have music added to the background and you know believe it or not even though my videos get a lot of really good responses every now and then I get a person who says man I can't stand that damn song you put on there man take that damn song off there I hate that song I turned it all the way down and damn it I hate it so anyway on this video this is just I'm not going to mention any names uh, but this is for that one specific viewer who can't stand the music. You're going to listen to my voice throughout this whole video. <laughs> and the droning of this obnoxious electric, electric motor, which is the whole reason why I put music in my videos. Because, you know, electric motors are fun to listen to for a while, but after a few videos you get tired of them. So anyway, I kind of turned this into a more of a descriptive video than anything else. And it's basically based on just a range test to see how far my Dragon Link will go. I'm really happy with my Dragon Link. Stellmacher uh, Lane down there. You can see in the fog that's Stellmacher Lane shooting off from Riverside Drive. And to the right you see that square lake. That's really noticeable if you're looking uh, from Google Earth. 
The Willamette River is just up ahead. And there we are a little bit closer. I edited a little bit of the video out because the entire video, the entire flight was somewhere around 31 minutes. And so instead of putting a 31 minute video out, I tried to chop as much of the dull, boring parts out as possible. So I tried to get just the, just the, um, the more important aspects of the flight. You can see Highway 20 running uh, across the uh, view there, going down south to Carvallis, which you can now see off in the distance out there, just barely off the upper right corner. Highway 20 runs from Carvallis, and as I said, all the way to Albany, you can see it right there. It's in the middle of the screen. And you can see the cars going to work, people going to work, probably, mostly. Garland Nursery is ahead. It's almost dead center in the screen. Um, so that's going to be our destination. Right now, if you look at the live view, you can see we're coming up on four kilometers. 3,950, 3,960, 3,970 meters. And right there is four kilometers. So that's four kilometers. And we're going to look to the left and do a little bank, watch the live video, and you can see the signal at four kilometers is still just great. I mean, there's just, there's a little bit of interference, but not nearly enough to interfere with the flying. You can see everything really clearly, and as, you know, I know this area pretty well because I've flown over it a few times. So as long as I can see something, I can get back home and I can navigate. And if not, there's always the uh, return to launch switch, which, which I can hit in a panic if need be. Some more lakes below. There's Highway 20 off to the right. Beautiful morning to fly. It was a really great morning. This is one of the last flights I had for 2012, which is going to be one of the better flights because the weather just kind of turned to crap recently. I initially was heading out to, I wanted to find, there's a farm home out here. And I initially, since I'm, I've seen this that farm home many times when I've flown or uh, drove by Highway 20. That's actually what I was shooting for, but when I was up this high, here we coming up, we're coming up on five kilometers. You can see the video breaking up a little bit here, a little bit of interference, not too bad. As we circle around, we still, we're still getting really good video reception. But anyway, I was heading towards the farm home, but when I got out there, I couldn't find it in my, uh, my video goggles. I was looking everywhere, I couldn't find it. And so I ultimately, I had to review the flight footage when I landed to see where I was actually at. Cause I, I, could, I didn't recognize any of this area down here. I saw the big buildings and everything, but I, I didn't know where I was actually. I knew I was over to Highway 20 somewhere. You can see the train out there in the left edge there. Some more shots of the fields that are between Carvallis and Albany. If you look off to the right, there is a Dare, the city of Adair Village. And uh, there's an also a radio control airport out there, which is far off to the right. Coming up on six kilometers now, or 5,900 meters. And right at six kilometers, this is my last maximum distance with the Dragon Link, is right here. Right here is where I turned around and headed back home. So at this point, I know I've got good video feed, and I decide not to mess around with the whole circling thing. I'm running low on battery. My flight battery's getting low, so I'm like, let's just push it one more kilometer, then we'll turn around. If all else fails, we'll hit return to launch. See a nice cloud forming up ahead, and we're just about on top of Highway 20. Look at those coastal mountains; those things are right out there. You can almost reach out and touch them. Supposedly, this Dragon Link gets 30 kilometers, so <laughs> who knows? One of my future videos, I might be posting where I'm flying over those mountains right out there. Hopefully, maybe. Coming up on seven kilometers now. We're at 6,900 meters. Altitude is almost 700 meters. Ground speed is 30 kilometers an hour, 29, 28. And there's 7 kilometers. So I kick my camera over, look down, say hi to Highway 20. 
and do a circle. That that complex down there in the center, that's Garland Nursery. I think they grow uh, plants or trees or something. I don't know. I didn't look into it. I think my maximum distance on this flight was 7,050 meters or so. So it was just over 7 kilometers. Now as we head back, watch a really strange thing happens. Watch the live video feed. See, it looks great right there. Breaking up a little bit. Breaking up a little bit, but it's still fine. It's no, no problem. No big deal. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, whack. It just completely demolishes for a second. And I was like, whoa, hold on. And then it completely disappears again. Now I'm flying blind. I can't see where I'm going. So I hit return to launch right here. You can see it there. It's activated in the lower uh, center of the screen there. And of course I get my video uh, feedback momentarily. And at this point I decide to put it back on radio control mode right about now. Or right about now. Okay, almost. There it goes. Now we're back to radio control mode. So I have full control of the plane again. And look, our video completely whacks out on this again. So I just stay calm and it comes back on. Not sure why it did that. It's really strange. Okay, we're coming back on six kilometers out. At this point, I cut the throttle way back and um, I put it more or less in a glide. Um, I knew the wind was at my back and so if you look at my battery consumption it's down at like almost zero amps and my voltage level my flight pack is about 11.3 volts which is still good I still you know you're supposed to be able to drain these things down to 11.2 or so without damage so the plan was to shut the engine off and glide at, as you can see, about 50 kilometers per hour ground speed, which is pretty fast for a glide, especially with the, uh, the tailwind. And when I get to this point, I'm almost home. I'm at 20, about two and a half kilometers, a little less than two and a half kilometers. I have plenty of altitude, so I know I'm going to be just fine. Now at this point I hit return to launch with it and I cut the power all the way off and watch what the airplane does. Watch what the Skywalker does. It tries to maintain altitude and heading. This is with no power on. And return to launch activated. So it's trying to maintain 375 meters altitude and it's trying to maintain its heading and it basically kind of goes into a wobbly. There I got control back again. I'm controlling the plane again. But as you can see if you're ever in a situation where you lose motor power you don't want to be activating your return to launch because it'll sit there and it'll kind of keep heading towards you but the plane will keep stalling as it tries to maintain altitude. A little circle over uh, the uh, Bryant's Drive, Riverside Drive intersection area. You can see some sheep down there who are probably wondering what the heck that is. Why that geese, why that goose up in the air is so loud. Never heard a goose whine like that. Nope, it's not a goose, it's a Skywalker. My uh, home station is off to my right, so I'm basically um, I'm heading north right now just to uh, check out the Kalapuya River a little bit before I turn home. And there's the Kalapuya unfolding below us, which is now completely flooded because of all the rains. I've got a video of that coming soon. If you guys uh, subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to see a really, really good flyover over the Bryant's Park area and the Kalapuya River all the way down with rainwater is just flooding out everywhere. It's pretty cool. Also coming up for uh, for you guys is there's my home base out there in the distance. You can see it, West Albany High School. Actually it's Liberty School is where I take off from. Actually uh, what I have coming up also in addition to uh, the floodwaters video is I also have a video where I took off uh, and it was it was meant to be an altitude um, flight. There's a power station down down there. That's never caused me any issues before, though I fly over it all the time. It's a big old power station that hums like a gigantic hive of honeybees, and it's never caused me any problems with any of my video equipment or my Dragon Link or my 72 megahertz system when I was on that. 
Anyway, as I was saying, I also have a video coming up, which I basically, I, I fly up into some clouds on a very windy day, which is a big mistake. So, what happens is I, uh, <laughs> I basically flutter around up in the clouds with no video feed at all, and I end up way north of myself, and I'm actually, I ran out to the middle of the field with my antenna, spinning it around, trying to get video feedback, and it's a really great video. It's the scare. I actually thought I lost my plane. This is the first time when I was I was almost certain. I was like, I know I lost the Skywalker this time, but somehow I was able to point my antenna in the right direction. I got my video feedback, and I recovered the plane when it was six kilometers out. And even though it was heading away from me extremely fast, we're talking 70, 80, 90 kilometers per hour sometimes because of the wind, I still managed to get the thing turned around and headed back in time, and I, I saved the plane. It was a little bit hard on the battery, but I got the plane back. So that video is coming soon, too. So make sure you subscribe, um, and you won't be disappointed. And for the next videos, I'm going to add music. You won't have to listen to my scratchy-ass voice anymore. I am just coming off a freaking cold right now, so I probably sound even worse than before. So here we're going to come in for a landing. We're coming over the Bureau of Mines right now. School is already in. There's no kids out here, which is a good thing. They're all in class, and there's all their cars. And we're just going to swoop down right over this dugout, coming for a nice, smooth landing. So I hope you enjoyed the video, you guys. Um, and like I said, subscribe, and keep flying FPV. I'm going to have some snow videos coming for you soon also. Ah, our speed is a little bit high, so we're going to do a go around here. Love the Skywalker. The big wing makes it just a nice slow. It just it's just a floater plane. It goes forever. It's a great little plane. As long as there's not a lot of wind, it's a great little plane. And our altitude is one meter and zero. Touchdown. Enjoy. Happy landings. Well, today we got seven kilometers, which is my new little record. Did it with a Skywalker and helical antenna from urbandrones.com it's 9.5 dbi helical so i showed you guys uh, what kind of distance i would get the only thing that stopped me this time was battery capacity my battery was down to 11.1 .1, even 11 volts at the end of that seven kilometer uh run when i when i turned around it was at <clears throat> like 11 volts or 11.1 .1 or something like that so um and, but by the time I landed and shut the power off, uh, under no load, it was still showing 11.3. Uh, so I don't think I hurt my batteries too bad. So anyway, the next goal is going to be 8 kilometers. I'll let you guys know as soon as that gets, uh, as soon as that happens.